Also, uh, Pun Boy coming through with the five dollar donation. Fight for rights, absolutely. And like you said, huge, huge, massive W. Uh, we got a lot to talk about. That of course, you know, I already feel some type of way about what they decided to do on the same day of a certain anniversary of something that I'm really pissed to see that they did. But we're gonna talk about game number one here. We got Nijen versus MFA. Yeah, we're gonna see Ollie and you see that here. And we seeing Zope come through. Uh, 17 uh, minutes ago was the one who dropped that hundred dollar donation so thank you Zope for being the one who dropped that and getting things kicked off with a hundred dollars thank you so much yeah I mean that's and that's one of the things where, like when you see that you see more people start getting motivated and really start to take that next step forward so hopefully everyone can chat if you can donate anything with us along with us tonight we'd really appreciate it yeah literally any bit helps every single little bit helps very similar to the fact that any little bit that yeah, Olimar gets off of those dot damage off of stuff and things like that white pikmin helps so much it just leads to so much damage and look at this situation ninja oh. is already gone you, you get pressured like that. like that you can't do nothing and we saw uh gims donating 20 dollars earlier as well so thank you Thank you them. The Gims always wins. I'm pretty sure that was actually Gims. <laughs> if it's not, Gims coming through with the $20. Thank you so much. Continuing the spread of the love of the message we're trying to continue right here. And uh, right now we're seeing MFA uh, doing a decent job of holding on to the stock, not really taking too much damage post on that first one. And that's really key against a character like Lucina because Lucina is another one of them that could just rip stocks away from you with that very ridiculous forward smash or that shield breaker at the ledge. Yeah, but the problem is right now, I mean, uh, we've seen MFA with Team Purple for a hot second now. So even if that, even if Nijin gets this stock soon, it's still going to be really difficult. Wow, and still manages to weave around that. That, that was so beautiful. Not only trying to go for the reversal ledge trap, but also been able to, uh, being able to navigate around the pressure that Lucina puts on. Like that, that's that's a struggle, and that is the that's the one with the hitbox. You gotta pay attention. It's so hard to deal with, but it's a frame trap in itself because if you air dodge, you get down air. So uh, if you jump too early, you might get hit. And, and MFA go all the way around. Oh, also. Go ahead. Oh, I, I just want to throw out there too. I just saw a couple other ones we missed. Buttercream Bear and Zope uh, was matching Rio's. Uh, Buttercream Bear dropping the twenty-five dollar donation earlier too. Thank you so much for continuing this train. We're starting things off hot, just like this match right here. Uh, it actually seems like uh, if if Nijin can actually get an early stock, uh, like kind of put things up a little bit, the game is far from over, regardless of being up a full stock. Yeah, I just right now MFA playing so well with even just the one Pikmin and this great boxing space controlling. That space is normally really hard to find against Lucina with the length of that sword. Oh and my god, back here down air, yikes. Yeah, missing text. You know what, honestly, I respect the idea of just staying with the purple right there. Because if uh, Nijen is going to miss these texts, get maximum damage, unfortunately the purple is going to be gone. The yellow just kind of being put in the way, so that way you could get a better recovery, waste a little bit more time. It's been a couple times now where MFA's gone for that pretty slow and staggered recovery. And Nijen has kind of pulled the trigger a little bit early, so hopefully we can see him... Ooh, I like that still breaker. But we see him start to stall a little bit when he's trying to get these edge guards. And sometimes just an F smash enough to do it. That's all you need sometimes. You just got to come through. Kind of like Sweet Potato 8457 comes through with that $15 donation. Like you said, reform needed right now. 400 years is too long and way too late, unfortunately, for George, for George Floyd. But we're going to make sure that message stays alive. Thank you so much for dropping that $15 donation. And right now, this, this match, like we said before, far from over. Look at that. Getting the roll read. You got to be careful. I like the idea of going for that down here at a disadvantage because you're already getting pressured. Oh, the up throw might do yep. it. Yep. There we yep. go. Yep. Yeah, and that's the thing. We haven't seen MFA go too many. It was mostly with the aerial, so the agent felt pretty comfortable standing up there and MFA made him pay for it. Yeah, that's it's, it's such a struggle. Not like It's so difficult when you're fighting against Olimar or Alf, right? Uh, just because it's like you're staring down the lineup. Then you're trying to figure out what the most optimal follow-up for them is going to be after that. Do they go for the grab because the blue's there? Are they going to toss it at me and then catch me with a purple because I'm paying too much attention to the blue? And then you get clapped because you're like, oh, uh, I, I just got off ledge and they just went for the first option. So you're playing a 50-50 on the guessing game for reading the Pikmin in a row. And then also you got to read the actual options after that. But uh, all the, the, nobody sleep. Like, Olimar may be gone uh, right now for the most part in a major scene but Olimar is not bad don't don't fix the shield don't fix the shield nintendo leave it the way it is i'm spreading oh. this message we need to keep it that way don't fix the My, shield <laughs> myron's, myron's coming for you bro oh yeah you know, i was you, i did sleep with one eye open myron's gonna be there i did it um i did that like five times during a set yesterday <laughs>
<laughs> I'm watch. I'm looking over my shoulder when we get back to ma uh, get back to majors, man. Myron was cooking yesterday, though. Like, don't don't, don't get it. <laughs> like, I hope nobody falls asleep on that too. Like, Myron was playing in work yesterday, uh, and actually came through with the raid, much like many of the other streamers. It was great to see. Uh, ACM came through. Yeah, you saw so much of that, right? I mean, Fatality already put in up a lot of his information as well. You know, it's yeah. important that we have these players in the positions they are as as allies. And, yeah. you know, the influence that they have on, you know, we talked earlier about, like, the younger the younger generation of Smash players. But I feel like we're in a good place right now. You have yeah. so many people at that level that are willing to have these conversations when you see several other major league Twitch streamers that are... That, don't don't want to don't want to address it because they're worried about their fan base and that's not the case with a lot of our guys and I I'm, I'm really happy to see that. exactly I mean we saw we saw yesterday Fatality actually closed out the stream with uh, over three hundred dollars with the donations out of his own pocket and also one of the people who regularly goes for protests it, it's amazing to see uh, and also the, the amazing things to see right now here in this match uh, as we continue with this. Uh, oh, like right. MFA was, so. yeah, MFA got mixed up like twice at the start, right? Only took 28%, and then immediately just demolished that entire lead right afterwards. Looking for a roll or something to the left hand side, I'm not sure, maybe looking for a pivot grab, but like 157% as Fox, you you are a sneeze away from uh, flying your way out of this screen. Goes for the grab there, too. Oh my god, the up smash behind him. That's a hitbox and a half, but I mean, MFA just continuing his run from the first game. Just look it's at this pressure. Bro, 41 already? Yeah, like, the dot damage is so important. Like, you fall asleep on it, and then you get clapped up by the forward air on a missed tech. Like, here you go. Oh, just barely missing. Uh, like, if MFA decided to fade in, that up smash would have been beautiful, would have been even. But I like the fact that MFA realizes that Ninja is trying, like, trying really hard to hunt down this kill. So you got to stay evasive. It's not really worth boxing at this point if you can get this damage, and it's led to 78% because of it. And this is where things get problematic. Look at this lineup. Double perk and the blue. Pretty much down. I mean, down smash so scary. Look at how much shield. Yep. Even the that, that's the nightmare lineup right there. Oh, and gets oh, caught man. once again. You try to go for the illusion, and and it's not like it was a bad choice because you already got mixed before, right? But get caught by the purple once again. 62% oh. already. Bro, early meta, that 80%. Oh, no. Good DI on the back air. Goes ahead and gets rid of some of that purple pickman too. Smart stuff from Legion. I don't know if the, the comeback is, is possible here, but I like the effort right there. And I like some of the seeing as well. Yeah, I think one of the problems, too, that Nijin has is that the, it's, it's kind of similar to what we saw in the last game uh, with Pandarian versus... Actually, no, not that one. The, the two games ago with Pandarian versus uh, AVI Ike is that mm -hmm. as Fox in this matchup, uh, you, like, you, ha you have to commit and you want a short box game. But when you're behind in stocks, you play right into Olimar's wheelhouse. Yeah, you basically have to play perfectly against a character like Olimar that just thrives off of trades like that. Mm -hmm. And a character like Fox that's so light and light enough to go off the top. Bro. Yeah, it's getting them to make that back. Instantly getting them out of here. Like we need to get rid of Senator Yoshi's. I'm still on the chain. We need to make sure that we're putting more emotes in chat than Sid puts in Yoshi's. We need to make sure as a group, as a collective, we not only make sure that with this message stay strong, but we also make sure that we hide Sid as much as possible. Thank you so much. I appreciate your efforts. Any 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 less exposure that I can get to you.